Okay, this is our next real estate math question. An owner agrees to list his property on the condition that he will receive at least 47300 after paying a 5% broker commission and paying 1150 in closing cost. At what price must the home sell for? Important question because uh, you'll see this question a lot on re uh, different real estate exams, and this is a question that is very easy to uh, answer wrong. Very common mistake a lot of people make uh, when answering this question. The 47300 is what we call the seller's net. That's the amount the seller is requiring to take home from uh, the uh, closing, and we have to add to that 5% uh, commission. So let's put this on the board and see uh, what this uh, uh, looks like. What a lot of people would do is take that 47300 if that's the seller's required net, and simply add 5% to that. We can do that by simply multiplying the required net, the 47.3, times 1.05. That's going to give us a number that would be the 47300 plus 5%. That number is $49,665. In addition, the seller is going to be confronted with 1150 in closing costs, so we have to add that uh, number. Um, all this adds up to 50000 sorry, $50,815, uh, which is one of our answers, B. If you answered $50,815, I'm sorry to tell you, but you have this question wrong. Um, let's actually uh, show you what, uh, why is that wrong and uh, what this looks like. Fifty thousand eight hundred is a sales price. If the home sold for fifty thousand eight hundred and fifteen dollars, and the seller had to pay a five percent commission on top uh, out of that number, that amount of commission would be twenty five hundred and forty dollars and seventy five cents. Okay, so if we're if that's the commission, let's simply take that and subtract it from the sales price. Of 58.15, and also subtract the 1150 the seller had to pay in closing cost. And what do you end up with? You end up with $46,274.25. This is well below the net price required by the seller of $47,300, well below. Why did this happen? Um, when we raised the price 5% to cover the cost of commission at closing, the seller had to pay commission on commissions, what, the amount that we raised to pay commissions, commissions on top of commissions. Anytime you add an expense to the cost to the seller, uh, in addition to the cost, the seller is paying commission on that expense that we added to the uh, uh, sales price. So, and that's what happened here. Um, I would have to take a different approach to answering uh, this question. We have three different answers there. Uh, one approach would be I could take uh, take those answers one at a time and subtract. Instead of adding two, I'm going to subtract. For example, let's take answer D there. D says uh, 51000 would be requ the required sales price. 51000 5% commission paid on a $51,000 closing would be uh, $2,550. Well, again, if we were to take then that $2,550 and subtract it from the sales price of $51,000, in addition, we subtract the seller's uh, um, uh, closing cost, we would be left with a final price of $47,000, a net to the seller of $47,300, the required net that they uh, asked us to generate, $47,300. We got that amount. Uh, uh, by uh, we got the forty seven thousand three hundred by taking our gross sales price and subtracting our expenses from that five percent commission and eleven hundred and fifteen closing costs instead of taking the seller's net net into that. One other way that we can get this is if we are to take uh, the seller's required net of forty seven thousand three hundred. This is a little bit quicker approach, and we are to add to that. The uh, closing cost the seller is confronted with paying $1,150. Let's see, this adds up to $48,450. If we were to simply take that amount and divide it by the percentage of the requires, uh, the seller's required uh, gross sales price. In other words, um, uh, they require 95% of the uh, uh, gross price after commissions are paid. 5% commission. So I'm going to take this number, the 48,450, and divide it by 0.95. And if I do that, I'll come up with 51,000 as the answer as well. So 
either approach um, uh, gets you the right answer. Just can't add commissions to the uh, seller's required net. So uh, hopefully this answers uh, uh, some questions for you. Uh, for more questions like this and to get more information about getting your real estate license in Virginia, go to our website, advancedschoolofrealestate.com. We will see you there.